Hey everyone, so this will be my review of the ZooMed brand Pyudarium. So I have the larger one of the two. So this one is 18 by 18 by 36. That's length, width, by height. And it holds 10 gallons of water on the bottom there. The water part of the Pyudarium. This one depends on where you get it from. Uh, ranges between 150 to a bit over 200 bucks. Then there's also a 12 by 12 by 24 that you can actually get from PetSmart. And that one you can get in a kit. This one I do not believe comes in a kit. Uh, that one only has 4 gallons of water on the bottom though. So this one is, so again, that one's 12 by 12 by 24 where, with 4 gallons of water. This one is 18 by 18 by 36 with 10 gallons of water. So this one's quite a bit bigger, uh, which is of course why I chose this one. I love how you have 10 gallons of water on the bottom there. Uh, yeah, so this one, so again, the bigger one, only comes with the tank. And then you also get the background. So you can see here, background, I actually taped it on the back. As that's usually what you do with backgrounds, I guess. Um, and that is just, of course, like a paper material type deal. But you do not get any uh, lights or heaters or anything like that with that with this kit or food or anything like that. So what you get is the tank, which is, of course, glass. You get the stream top, which can come off here. I don't know how I got, well, you guys can see that, but there's just two little pinching things on both sides. And then in the back, sorry, I know it's hard to see, uh, but it just kind of slides out. There's a little nub here that just slides out once you push in these two front ones here. And uh, then the top just comes right off. And then, you guys can see here, you, you have spots for cords come out, uh, come out of the tank on either side. So what I have in there is for the water part. So I have a heater, I have a filter, and I have a pump. Uh, the pump I am not using at the moment. I was having issues with it. Yes, yeah, so that is the top. And then, of course, you get the door here, which also has the vent. So this is all a big vent to let in air and out air and whatnot. Uh, open up the door, very easy. Have this little lever, push it down, pull out. There's a little finger spot here. And the door is nice and wide. Sorry, this tank is just so big and where I have it's hard to kind of get it all in view. Uh, so I had to use my, so I had to hand hold my camera here. Uh, but you can see how big this door is. Ginormous. Uh, which is awesome. And that is of course how you feed your fish that are on the bottom or whatever you have down there. Uh, and of course you can mess around in the top part of the tank as well. Uh, so the bottom part does not open up, which makes sense since that is the water, and you would not want your water going everywhere. Uh, 10 gallons of water on your floor would not be a fun time. Yeah, so that's what you get with the Pyudarium, the Zoomed Pyudarium, unless you get the smaller one as a kit. Uh, so you pretty much get the tank, the screen top, and it has the open door, uh, the front opening door here, as well as the top comes off. And then you also get that little bit of a back background. For extra money, you can also buy this Pyudarium platform. This is the large one since this is the large tank. I got this from a pet store actually in Chicago. Uh, they have it for 30 bucks. I found this hard to find. Uh, online you can find it, but in stores it's hard to find. I found it at that pet store and one other pet store. But the other pet store only had the small version, not the big version. Uh, that, so again, that is 30 bucks. I believe the small is usually somewhere around 25 online or so. Uh, and then what you do with that, as you can see here, it just, as it says, platform. Uh, so you can build up a whole bunch of stuff on it like I've done here. And of course you can make your tanky look even better than mine. Or worse. Depends on how good you are at building stuff, I guess. Uh, and hopefully you guys will be able to see. we will go to the side here. So it has four feet. Of course two on either side. And then the bottom is also like this. So they're not just, you know, normal feet that go down there. It goes down, over, up. Uh, so it's pretty stable. Holds up to, I think it says 20 or 30 something pounds or so. So more than enough weight it can hold. And I would highly, highly recommend getting this. Uh, I actually thought 
about having my dad help me build a stand uh, but for 30 bucks or a platform but for 30 bucks it just wasn't worth the effort and for 30 dollars you can just buy this and you can mess around with it uh, and then what it is it has this part here and then there's a separate part underneath it this part just kind of sits on top of it um, and then you can build you can put I put soil soil in mine for some live plants as I have an ivy and uh, I think it's a fern back there and then I also have have the orchid there as well and then I just put sphagnum I think it's sphagnum moss on top of it there along with along with some frog moss uh, so I'd highly recommend picking that up for 25 30 bucks or so especially if you can find it in a store and to close the door very simple again I pushed on this latch you actually got to push up a little bit on the door itself and then let go of the latch and it's locked and it's very nice and snug uh, yeah, if you don't lift up on the door a tiny bit, it kind of, it just doesn't seem like it, it, it kind of hits, I guess is what I'm trying to say there. It just kind of hits the bottom of it, so you just want to pick up a little bit. Then I would recommend pushing on this latch, otherwise it will still shut. It just, if you don't do that, you're hitting this nub, which I think is better just to push down the latch and not do more wear on wear and tear on the on it than you have to. So, yeah, so that is the Zoom Med Pyodarium. Uh, so, again, you don't really get much with this, but if you get the kit, you get a whole bunch more stuff. Can't remember exactly what you get. It's been a little bit since I've looked at the kit. Uh, and since I went with the bigger one, like I said, there is no kit for it, or at least not that I could find. Uh, and I'll show you guys what else I got with it. So, that is the review of the, of the tank itself, though. So far, I really do like it. Uh, it's holding up very well and it looks very nice. Now I'll show you what else I've added to it. So I have, this is the Aquion OptiBrights fish tank light, which I can change into a whole bunch of different colors. Very, very nice. Then I have, I think, I can't remember what brand this is, but it's just a dual fixture light. So I have actually UVB 5.0 and then a heat light in there, which I don't even really need since I, I only actually have a crusty gecko in my tank. Um. But I wasn't sure what I was going to be getting, putting in here. So I got, my brother actually lent this to me. And he really had, already had these bulbs. So I figured why not I just put it on here and it'll give them a little bit more heat. Uh, you know, they don't really need heat. That's beside the point here. Uh, and I got a whole bunch of these silk pl fake plants. So these are all silk. And they are not the cheap plastic ones that can hurt anything or hurt animals. Uh, I highly recommend it if you're going to go the fake plant route to get the silk one. Spend a bit more. They look better, and again, they're not going to hurt your animal. At least they shouldn't. So I got a whole bunch of those on the side there. And like I said, I got this nice pink-purple orchid, which is alive as a living plant. I got some ivy, got the fern. Both of those are alive as well. I have this dripper, which I was trying to use with the pump, but my pump is just not strong enough. I need to buy myself a stronger pump. Uh, because the pump is all the way down in the bottom of the tank, and this is, uh, I don't know, probably maybe two feet, almost two feet above it, and it just couldn't pump it up. Uh, but yeah, this is just a fake dripper, which are actually pretty expensive, apparently. I bought mine years and years ago, used. Um, but yeah. Uh, then I got the cork. The cork bark. Cork bark. Uh, nice big, big piece in there. Uh, I got another one in the back, a lot smaller. And I got a couple, couple of these wishbone like uh, branches. I'm sorry, I actually only have one of those. I had two of them in here, but I took one out. Now, on the bottom of my tank, I actually have, oh, and I actually also have a crusty gecko up top, as I kind of sort of mentioned there. A uh, male crusty gecko, which I just got about a week ago. Uh, on the bottom here, I actually just put in five white clouds yesterday. So far, they're doing good. Uh, sorry, this part's going to be very hard to see. I need to somehow add in a light, get like a submersible light or something for this bottom part. Otherwise, it's rather dark most of the time. I got some driftwood, which is making the water that tea yellowish color and even darker. I got a couple of live plants. Uh, let's see, Anubis. And I think maybe Java Fern, I think that's what this one is. This one's not doing too good though. The one up front here uh, starting to die. The the Anubis, I believe, believe that's Anubis, not the best with plant names. Uh, that one's doing just fine. Got a cave in the back. 
I uh, got this fake vine goes all the way through the tank all the way up and down and up it goes everywhere and that's actually just a small version of it then I got some of this moss on a vine from Petco got I think two of those in there I got one over here and I got one in the back which you'll not be able to see then I also have a moss ball in the back as well which you cannot see right now because how dark dark the bottom of this tank is um yeah, and then I got some red stone on the bottom that's supposed to be good for plants. Let's see. Yeah, so that is my zoo method polyderium. This is the large one. I got 18 by 18 by 36 with 10 gallons of water on the bottom. Or you can also do the smaller one, which Petco does, or PetSmart, excuse me, does sell, which is only 12 by 12 by 24, but it's still really cool. That one, the small one, you can get in a kit if you don't want to go out and buy your thing extra. Uh, yeah, so that is my my Pyoderium from Zuben. Uh, and since I didn't show them off before, here is my Crusty Gecko. Just kind of chilling, probably sleeping. All right, guys, thank you all very much for watching. And I hope you guys have yourselves a good one. See y'all next time. Goodbye.